Hi guys, I'm so excited. I literally feel like I'm reuniting with my longtime besties who I haven't seen or talked to in a while. That's probably because I haven't seen or talked to you guys in a while. I kind of like went MIA on YouTube. I know, I know, we're gonna talk about it today. I'm gonna give you guys kind of a life update. I have like a few topics I wanna touch on. We're also gonna go on a few adventures because I haven't eaten, I'm hungry, and I need to go to the mall. So I feel like this is gonna be a fun day together. So glad you're here. If you're new to my channel, my name is Victoria Garrick. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you see my videos every week because I am back every Thursday, baby, I promise. And also you can follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter so that we can stay connected throughout the week. Okay, where do I even wanna start? I feel like I should start with where have I been? So here's what happened. I started reacting to the show called Haikyuu, and I'm sure some of my hardcore Haikyuu homies are watching this video. I'm gonna call you hardcore if you watch my non-Haikyuu content. But anyways, I started reacting to the show that I love now and is super fun to do, but it was taking so much work and time. I felt like I had two audiences, one that was here for everything else, and one that was here for these reaction videos. And because the reaction videos were like really highly requested and everyone was watching them, I started to kind of like subconsciously prioritize them. And then I wasn't filming or kind of creating content that I was proud of for Thursdays, which is my normal videos. And then it would be like, I just started missing a Thursday and only posting the reaction. And then that just kept happening. And then I was like, oh gosh. And I kind of had a reevaluation moment. And I was like, okay, I think I need to split my channel. I'm gonna have a Victoria Garrick volleyball and reaction channel. And then I'm gonna have my normal Victoria Garrick channel where that is like my life, intuitive eating, my relationship, my apartment, fun stuff, body image, mental health, all the stuff you guys know I love talking about all the time. So that's what we're doing. And I'm kind of like restarting this channel. In my mind, that's what I feel like I'm doing we're restarting. But now that I am back, I would love to know what you guys want to see from me. I feel like I'm going to have a pretty chill summer where I can just like really dive into content, being creative, putting stuff out there for you guys that's helpful, motivating, comforting, you know, relatable, whatever it is. So comment down below, let me know. So we have this life update video, which I hope you're enjoying. And then next week I'm doing an apartment tour. I... I know, I am so excited. I literally have been dying and dreaming of filming this apartment tour video since I filmed the empty apartment tour. Um, it's been January, February, March, and April, May, June. It's been six months. I just, I'm just saying that I know. It's been six months since we moved in and finally like the place is done. It's not done. There's still a handful of things I want to do, but mentally I'm kind of over it at this point. That was another thing that I wanted to update you on about my life. The apartment. It was so fun to furnish. I'm going to like do a whole nother video on like my advice and tips for anyone furnishing an apartment, etc. because I learned so much. Okay, now I'm hungry. It's time to eat. This wasn't really going to be part of the video, but I've missed intuitively eating with you guys, and I'm really freaking hungry. This is one of those days for me where th it's very clear what my body is signaling to me. I need a deluxe Chick-fil-A sandwich, waffle fries, and a Sprite. So, I gotta listen to it. Let's go. I'm gonna stop at the mall because I have some things to return. I'm going to San Francisco this weekend and hang out with my friends and Max is coming and my one friend Katie this weekend who I was hanging out with, she had the cutest faux vegan leather pants on. I'm like, I want them. I have a vision of myself wearing them tomorrow night. So I want to go see if they have them and they fit me and they have my size and we can get those. I have wallet, keys, water. Let's go. Yes. I will be blasting Sour, Olivia Rodrigo's new album, while I drive. I will say my absolute favorites off the album are One Step Forward or Three Steps Back because it basically is New Year's Day's long lost sister and we love that. Favorite crime, oh my gosh, she jumps up the octave after the bridge. I mean, that is ridiculously good. Brutal, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't love it at first but now I'm obsessed. Good For You obviously is the best song on the album, but I've literally played it so many times that I've like, I've worn it for myself, sadly. Okay, let's go to Chick-fil-A. Yay, I got it. Oh my gosh, I am so freaking excited. Mm. Also, my hair. Do you guys like it like this? Is it, mm, is it not cute on me? I don't know, I'm just kind of going for it. If you told me in high school that I would wear a middle part, low slick back into a hair clip, I would have been like, no, I would never. But I feel like it's just like kind of the trend right now. It's just chic and I'm like looking at it differently. I'm gonna tell you guys about my hair because I've been training it. It used to get so oily. I had to wash it every single day because as an athlete at school, 
we worked out and sweat profusely every day. And so it was like, I always felt like I had to wash and shampoo my hair. And as a result, my hair, wait, I'm sorry. I need to take a bite of this and then I can keep talking. <laughs> mm. Wow. I'm not exaggerating when I say I think this is the best Chipotle I've ever had. I can't sip a soda and not take three gulps at minimum. Anyways, what I was saying about the hair, because I showered all the time, my hair was getting stripped of the oil every single day. So it started to create more and more oil to compensate for my stripping of it. Anyways, that's just not fun to upkeep, especially as like a normal adult now who's not playing sport. I don't have to wash my hair as much, but my hair would get so oily every day. Like literally, there was a time, like a, a year ago, where I would shower, blow dry my hair, and then that night, I would start to feel it get oily. And then the next day, it was oily. You should be able to shampoo and condition your hair, blow it out, and like have three days of like cuteness. Anyways, I didn't, so I had to kind of retrain my hair. Food break. So, I trained it. And this is basically what I did. First, you have to stop shampooing your hair. You just have to stop washing your hair. Let it get oily and let that oil sit for like three days. I would start with three days. And yes, it's gross and it doesn't look cute, but it's like a short-term sacrifice for a long-term payout. I would just brush it and put it up in a tight bun. I would wear a hat. Even if you work out or whatever, just don't wash your hair. And then you're gonna start like building up some stamina and it's not gonna be as oily, so it starts to go like every four, go like every five. And so it's like slowly try to see how long you can go kind of without washing your hair. I wouldn't go longer than like five days because that's just like not even realistic for where you're trying to get it. Um, obviously you're washing your body Body. Um, you know, a few tricks and tips you can do get oh my gosh There's this brush. This is really good brush and it helps kind of spread the oil around I'll link it in the description and so brush your hair every day um, You know, maybe morning and night to get the oils through the hair stop touching your hair with your own hands That was like my biggest thing I touch my hair all the time even like right fresh out of the shower when I blue dry it I would be like hands all in it. That's expediting the oil process. So don't touch your hair also, this is kind of weird and I've never really done this, but some of my followers on Instagram submitted this in. You can blow dry your hair after you work out. So like if you work out and you get really sweaty, like you blow dry the sweat. I know, kind of weird, but I guess you can do that. And also something that I've been doing and I literally just did today, which I think gave it a nice clean look. I used this rinse from Justin Anderson's DP Hue line. We love Justin. He was on RealPod. He is the best. Um, it's a fabulous episode. If you want to check that out, I'll also link it. And I will link his hair thing. This was my hair uh, this morning. You can see it's definitely oily. It's shiny. I'll report back. Okay, I'm out and blow dried. Honestly, I noticed the difference. I still have you know, some of those, that natural oil because it's not gonna completely take away the oil. There's no sulfate and it's just a natural product. But I do feel like it kind of spread everything around and enhanced the shine of my hair. And I feel like this, I mean, I can tell it's oily because I feel that, but I feel like if someone just saw me, they would maybe think this was like day one of a shower. So yeah, as you guys saw from that, it just kind of like, took out some of the oils, but a lot of the dirt and a lot of the, you know, impurities. And it kind of just, I think like refreshed the hair, made it shiny, spread the oils around. And I really like that rinse. It has amazing reviews. This is my first day using it. So I don't know if I used it correctly. Maybe I could have done more. I definitely didn't put it on the bottoms, which I was supposed to do. Those things have all helped me and I've definitely noticed a big difference. So now I will like wash my hair on one day. I'll go another day. And then on like the third day, I'll do a little bit of a dry shampoo. On the fourth day, I can do more dry shampoo. And then I usually do like an up to one of the days. So I try to go like five days without washing. I really didn't plan to tell you guys that whole story while I was eating in the car, but you know what? Things happen. It's natural. Hashtag real post. I'm going to finish eating and then we're going to go to Aritzia. Something about being at the mall on a weekday, it just feels dangerous. Like there's no line. I feel like you should be working or in school. I'm headed straight to Aritzia because I want those pants. I just have this gut feeling you're not going to fit me. Also, I posted about this like the other week and someone asked me like, you know, when you go into stores and you try clothes on and like it doesn't fit, like how do you remain confident? I approach it with this mentality that's not gonna fit and then if it does fit, it's like I'm pleasantly surprised. Sizing doesn't matter to me. I just want to fit and feel good. Okay guys, we made it in. We found the pants. 
um, I'm super excited. This is the color I wanted. This is a cute color as well, but I have a theory. It's just gonna look like I'm gonna look naked. And then of course, like I found a bunch of other things to try on. So let's see how it goes. The pants are on. I don't think they're gonna look. Okay, this is like busting at the seams. Um, you know, not my size. I might have to. I'm gonna have to size up. But um, I'm just gonna look in the mirror to see if I'm even liking the vibe. Okay, so this is outfit number one. I'm loving this top. I feel like it's so chic. These are the leather pants. Like you can see, they're super tight on me. Like I did not think. I don't. I did not think that these fit me, but they told me that these really stretch so that I should get them in this size. I don't know, and I'm also not a big fan of, oh, ignore my sandals, I'm also not a big fan of like the flare at the bottom, it's just way too tight and then loose. So I'm gonna try a different style and color and see if there's a difference, but I am loving the vibe. Okay, I've been looking for dark jeans that are cute for a while now. I think I need a size down. I'm loving this top. It's like this ribbed fabric. Okay, this is another version of the leather. I want these to happen for me, but they're just so, they're so tight. It is what it is. Okay, this is the jean in a size down. They didn't have the dark wash. I think it looks good. I'm tempted to get the light wash, but I have way too many light wash jeans. I think I need to do a dark wash. And this is a different top. I love it though. I think it's like, especially like tucked in. How cute is that? I meant when you try on literally this many pants and none of them fit you, right? I am gonna get these four tops though. So cute. Okay, I'm back in the car. I'm bummed. I literally drove to the mall today for those pants. I tried on like the two different versions in multiple sizes and they just didn't fit right. It's just like one of those things where, where I want to be like, oh, well, what's wrong with my legs? Like, why don't my legs fit the style of these pants? And it's awkward also. When I walk up into the store and I'm like, hi, I'm looking for the like Melinda jeans, whatever, blah, blah, blah. They pull them for me. And then the girl is like, what's your name again? Um, I keep just thinking about the pants, but I didn't ask her name. I'm like, oh, it's Victoria, but you can call me leather pants girl. We like made a joke about it. And then she brings me all these pants. And then I like leave the dressing room. She's like, how'd the pants go? And I'm like, not good. I was like, oh, they just didn't fit right, which is the truth. Um, but I did get some cute tops, so that's that. But you know what, people? Sometimes in life, things aren't gonna fit right. I can live a happy life without the Aritzia faux leather pants. Oh, I have a fun update about friends, friendships, and like what I've learned. So I wanted to just share this with you guys because it's been a game changing realization for me. If you watched my Girl Talk video, then you know that I said I'm like super particular about friends and I'm extremely loyal and like my one of my setbacks is like my standards and expectations for friendships. I recently kind of had this realization that I'm the problem. Obviously, everyone probably doing like a case study on this is like, mm, yeah, I can tell like you have really high standards and nothing's good enough for you. I'm like, yeah, I'm the problem. But I had to realize it on my own. And anyways, what I realized is I was doing two things that were really ruining like every friendship slash relationship I had. I was one, taking things personally, assuming everything was about me. If they didn't respond, if they didn't reach out, well, they don't care about me. They don't care about this. They don't want to ask, you know, everything. I took it personally. That was a big problem because most of the time, no one's thinking about you. It's never a personal attack, but I was making it a personal attack, even when it wasn't. For example, if I wasn't invited somewhere or I hadn't had someone reach out to me or do X, Y, Z, I was like, oh my gosh, they must have thought about this and they must have decided they don't want me there when that's just not the case. You know, I do things all the time with not all of my friends present. And secondly, I was labeling things. Like I was like, you are one of my best friends or you're not. We are close or we're not. This is something I would invite you to or go to with you or I wouldn't. Like, and I didn't even realize I was doing this, but in my head I was just like, these are my best friends and you're either in this and we have a relationship that's a certain way or we're not. And as a result, that like ostracizes a lot of people because friendships aren't meant to be so black and white. There's friends you can have for different things in life and that serve different purposes and that you do different things with. And I think that's the beauty of relationships is that not all friendships are exactly the same. 
I just had to realize these things and because of that I've made two kind of rules around my relationships with people and I'm sure you can guess they are one don't take things personally and two stop labeling shit that's honestly my new approach and it has been amazing it has been game-changing I've been hanging out with more people I've been opening up with people more I've been letting things roll off my back easily I've been more social and having a great time so that has been I think a really cool like unlock in my life recently and I just share that because I know we all have issues with friends or we all have issues with not feeling we're good enough or we're liked or we have enough friends so I just kind of want to share in case that helps you have any perspective or awakening about the relationships in your life that's kind of all I wanted to add to this video um I do need to do a mayo Oh my gosh, I need to do a major cleanup of my room before the tour next week, but I'm super excited. Thanks for watching this video. I'm so happy to be back. We're gonna have videos every Thursday for the rest of summer, so make sure you subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. I'm gonna be responding to comments. Thanks again for watching, and you can also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter so we can stay connected throughout the week.